You want a phone call every time? Will do. I worked for a petty, fragile man years ago. He loved to micromanage and was always wanted to know if I talked to anyone higher in management than he was. This by itself wasn't a problem. As I understand chains of command and follow them, the crux of the issue was he had to know every detail of every conversation. And he wanted to dictate what they were told when they reached out to us. I was in a unique situation. Because I have specialized education, which was very useful to top management, because of this, they called me directly, frequently, every day of the week and at all hours. The baby boss had a huge problem with this because he wanted to control the technical information that I provided the big boss when he called with questions. I tried my best to loop baby boss in when these calls occurred. But big boss wanted me to speak freely and didn't want to wait for someone else to get on the call. Often, Baby Boss would call Big Boss after we spoke to try and take credit for what I told them. Even though it was well known that he didn't have the same education, understanding that I did. Baby Boss then demanded I call him every time Big Boss called me, and wanted a full recounting of our conversations. Q malicious compliance. I followed his direction to the T. If Big Boss called me at 2 AM with a question, Baby Boss got a call at 2.15, but with a rambling retelling of our conversation, which often exceeded the length of the first call. After a few weeks, Baby Boss got tired, literally, of being woken up at all hours. He then demanded that I send him an email after every call with every detail. So I did that. I created these emails that would rival a high schooler who had an assignment with a minimum word count. I'd sprinkle the important information in between long, flowing sentences so he was forced to read the whole thing if he wanted to know what I really spoke about. This ultimately resulted in Baby Boss relenting and just asking for a brief recap in person during the next business day. Soon after, the budget people were very concerned about why I had huge amounts of overtime at odd hours and I explained the direction I was given. Baby Boss was eventually disciplined and was forced out, due in large part because of everything that happened with me. Insecure people lose their jobs. Smart people train then trust the people they supervise. Always train your replacement. If you can't be replaced you can't be promoted. The fact that there were actual consequences for a jerky boss like this is oh so satisfying. Usually these petty tyrants just keep plotting along making their minions. No doubt that's how they see the people that report to them. Miserable. Thanks for a tale of justice. Good on you for billing those hours. Too many people would just call and count that as petty revenge. Why are you taking calls at 2 AM in the morning? If my boss called me at 2 AM, the office better be on fire or she is phoning to let me know that the zombie apocalypse has started and I can have the day off. I rolled my eyes when I read about the emails until you mentioned that you were on the clock when writing them rolling on the floor laughing. That is awesome handled it like a boss and came out on top cool. I would have just ignored the guy's requests. I have to say I love your little names of baby boss and big boss. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.